It's Monday the 12th of April, you know what that means, charity shops are open, so I can go shopping. I literally haven't been charity shopping since like December. I'm going to have a little local look around and then later in the week um, me and Ethan's mum are going shopping at some bigger ones and I'll give you a little haul at the end. This is the fit, I've got my, oh no. My boyfriend can't skate top and some little flares. Let's go. Two hours later. I'm back. It was absolutely rammed. There was like queues to get into some charge shops and it was a bit disappointing. Yeah, I didn't buy anything because I found that a lot of the stock was stock that had been in there last time that I'd been in there, which I find a bit weird because most charge shops have been restocking and like putting in the summer spring stock and getting rid of like their winter stock but i'll be going shopping in some bigger charity shops on thursday so i'm hoping i find some good stuff Bonjour. so i managed to actually do some shopping my first trip was not successful but my second trip was successful i didn't go super crazy or overboard like i've only got a few different things but a few tops some accessories and a dress so i'm gonna give a little haul now um i'm gonna start off with accessories first just because i want to i got this little leather bag which is real leather and it has like a little silver buckle detail on and like loads of little zippy bits and there's extra pockets inside i don't really have any little handbags that i can take out like just to go somewhere like if i just need my purse and like my phone and like a few little bits and bobs so I thought this was perfect for that and it was only four pounds. The next accessory thing I got was a pair of tights which have stars on them and I've been looking for a pair of tights for ages that have like little star print or something on them and they're all dead expensive or they're all from like AliExpress so I didn't really want to buy them but I found these for a pound. The next thing I got is a little jewellery piece. It's a little butterfly with rhinestones. I thought it was really pretty. Kind of wish I had it when I did my like butterfly photo shoot for the spring stuff, but so that was a quid. The next thing I got was this dress and it's a little like black off the shoulder ribbed bandeau kind of style top with these like gorgeous witchy sleeves. This was four pound and it was supposed to be from River Island. The next things I got were all top, starting off with a strong one, which is, it's strange, but I think it's really cool. I think it'd look really nice with like flares or like a skirt or even like layered under something. It's like this lycra mock neck thing. And it has these like little dot things all over it. And like, I thought it was just like a weird, cool pattern, but I Googled it and apparently it's something called a Zozo suit, which, um, is like this app where you put on like the top and the bottoms and it like measures you. So it gives you like your exact body measurements like just from the app. But I got one for 195 and I think I'm just gonna wear this as a normal top because I think it's cool. And also it has like these really cool little cut out details on the thumb. I think it's just an interesting item of clothing. Uh, the next thing I got is this from New Look and it was £2.50 and it's like this little baby tee ribbed style top with like a lacy cut out detail at the front, well not lacy, laced. And I've been wanting some like little plain normal tops that I can like wear with things, kind of basic-y kind of tops that I can just whack on with anything. And then the next thing I got is this little off the shoulder top from H&M which is very pretty much the most basic -y thing that I've bought out of everything. But it like it kind of has like this little flare detailing on the sleeve because it's lettuce hem. I thought it was quite cute. That was three pounds. And then this top, it's actually a swim top, but I thought it was just like so pretty. It has like this little halter tie neck detail and then a little plunge neckline and this little cute rhinestone thing going on in the middle and i got it for 50p and i was like this would look really really nice with like anything <laughs> but um i thought especially with that little butterfly necklace i got it would be like so cute and that's everything i bought i'm not sure how much i've spent all together but i definitely spent under 20 quid i'm really happy that stuff started to open up again because like 
I can go out and do stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking the shops that I went to earlier in the week, I'll probably try and go to them again. But after like they've renewed their stock and stuff, because I think part of the problem was that they're the ones that I used to go to quite a lot when stuff was open before and then everything just closed. So I think they're kind of like trying to get rid of their old stock before they put new stuff out. So I was like, mm. if you're interested in looking into anything else I've done, I recently brought a poetry book out, which will be linked down below if anyone's interested in checking that out. I post blog posts on Wednesday, so a link to my blog will be down there. And if you want to subscribe or anything, no pressure. I usually post videos on Fridays. Thank you for tuning in this week, and I shall see you next week. <laughs>